Okay guys, a little 64 Chevelle. I guess this will be our final part of part three, kind of showing you the, um, the frame connectors that we put in for the gentleman. So if you remember, we showed you, obviously we showed you part one where you box the frame and then we showed you part two here. And if you don't remember, go back to the videos where you put the, I don't know if you can see it, but you put this section in here and it joins to the back. So pretty much everything on this kit bolts on. This bolts on near the back here by your leaf spring hangers, then it bolts up in here on your frame here. Then it comes around and it bolts to your frame up in here. The only pieces that are welded on are these sections here, which is where we left off last time. So what I explained to you was you can't, it comes along with this piece of tubing. This piece of tubing has to slide through these brackets here. Now the tubing joins on back here. They've already cut it properly and notched it so it fits around this pipe. What they haven't done though is at this end they've left it a little longer because this kit is meant for you know different models of cars. So it might change depending on your application. What I had to do here was you slip this piece, you slip the tubing through this bracket here. When you line this tubing up at the other end and it comes to this end and lines up, you'll know if, it, if you need to cut any off or not because this, you'll see where this lines up. Now when I went to do this, this part here, this bracket was around an eighth of an inch away from the frame which meant I had to cut the tubing down an eighth of an inch to get it to go in further, which brought this bracket in. Once that all lined up for me, then what I did was I took a little more off the tubing to weld this plate on. And then this plate, like I say, you drill through the frame, you put the bolts and nuts like they give you and boom, boom, away you go. <coughs> this, so then you weld this part on. Once you weld that on, pretty much everything bolts in place, right? So now, somebody had mentioned in a video, don't forget the drill holes in your frame. Very good, very good comment, because he saw that I was boxing the frame, and he said, hey, so show, drill some holes in there because you want water and stuff to get out of there. On this particular car, I didn't drill any holes, because as you can see, your body mounts come up through the frame. There's holes everywhere. There's holes here. There's a big, huge hole here for your body mount. And then you've got all these holes up in here along here, which I didn't drill, they were in here. So, and you've got holes in the front of the frame here. But very good suggestion, you know, you guys are paying attention out there, I appreciate that. If this had been all closed in, yes, you obviously want to drill some holes up in the frame. You want any, because no matter how much something is closed in, water is always going to get into somewhere. It just is. Doesn't matter what you do, it's going to get in there. So anyway, this is it. It's all in place, as you can see. Everything is done. It fits nicely, we got our exhaust back in, we got our drive shaft back in, thanks to Chris. Chris took care of all that. Uh, the brake line was perfect, you did not have to alter the brake line on this car. It fit around everything fine, the e-brake cables fit around everything fine. We did have to change the, the fuel line, only because these are welding here, the fuel line normally. You know, and don't forget, all these lines were tucked inside because this was never boxed. So we had to alter the fuel line. So that was about it. You got your cross member here that drops out for your transmission. So it was a very nice kit, worked out handy. I apologize right at this very moment. I forgot the name of this kit, this company that made it. But if you go to our video, part one of this, I mentioned it in there several times. So that's it. So it's done. Customer's good to go. We got our everything welded up nicely. So he's uh, he should be happy. So that's what's going on with the 64 Malibu. We'll get her down here off the hoist, we'll get her on the ground, we'll give it a wash and a clean up because you can't send a car out dirty. Things get dusty and dirty when you're working on them. So you wash them, you clean them before you send them out. Right now though it's a little difficult because uh, we ended up getting snow down here in the lower mainland. It came to us finally, we got two feet at my end. Um, just depends where you are. Chilliwack itself probably got around a foot. Um, but I've got I've got close to two feet just because I'm not right in the town of Chilliwack. I'm a little I'm, I'm out in the flats, so the wind blows through there. So with the wind blowing through, it just um, it just piles it up even more. So it's made a hell of a mess out here. So uh, there you go. That's what's going on. But anyway, thanks for subscribing, guys. Uh, hopefully that little um, hopefully that three part video did something for somebody out there if they're using this kit. Helps out in some way. And uh, that's it. So thanks all you new subscribers out there and all you old subscribers. And hey, we'll see you soon again with something new going on. Okay, remember, it's always a good time at old time. Thanks.